today's episode is going to be a trip to the thrift. Literally every single clip is just going to be stuff that I've found in the past couple weeks now. I've been saving up, just wanted to do a full episode of nothing but trip to the thrift. Now tomorrow I'm going to be doing a thrift haul, which is going everything I'm going to have for sale. But if you don't want to wait till that, just make sure to check out link down below. I will be showing you a little bit more things probably tomorrow that's not listed on my website that I might start list as stuff sells. I'm only gonna list 25 items at a time on emcblogs.com. I feel like 25 items is a perfect amount of items because literally every single day you could probably check my site, scroll, be like, okay, he has nothing good, or oh, he has this new, I'll buy this. Now literally shirts start at $10 plus shipping. Shipping always depends on where you are. It could be uh, $4 or it can be as much as $20 if you do live like in UK. I know a lot of people complain about overseas shipping. I'm sorry guys literally just raise the rates and overseas shipping is way too expensive as it is. Give you an example to ship a t-shirt inside the United States it's four dollars. Ship a t-shirt across the country is about twenty dollars. So just to give you guys an example I know a lot of people are complaining about the shipping cost but I'm sorry it's just it is what it is. My website automatically calculates it. I do not put the shipping costs. I only put the product costs. So just know that for future. Again, check out emcvlogs.com. And if not, just check out my Instagram, at DITR954. I usually post items there every single day, usually before they go on my website. So people on there usually get first dibs. I sell a lot of stuff on my Instagram. So make sure you stay tuned on that. Keep notifications on, because I do post a lot of things on my story as I find them before these videos do go up. So enough talking, I hope you guys do enjoy today's video. If you do, smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and let's get it guys. Just found a pair of jabos, unfortunately they're size 40 longs, but it's so sick because it has like lines going down and then the gray Velcro. I think it's so sick. Then we found this vintage Converse All-Star vest made in USA. I feel like it's sick. I'm on Tommy girl. Put on a jersey tag. Logo Athletics, got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Got this Chase NASCAR shirt, 88. This is a pretty cool shirt. You got the, I think this is Enzo Amore. Double sided, probably pick this up. Great tag, Nike, we got the swoosh, swoosh, swoosh with the Nike symbol, not bad. Got the vintage Jimmy Z, the Z's all over. It's pretty sick. Got this 1992 Betty Bop, Bronk and Betty. So sick. These denim shorts are so sick. They're size 40, I'm contemplating buying it in and repurposing it. It's like all of New York City. Craziness. Crazy pair of Jabos. Never seen these before with like out the Velcro but just prints all over. Kinda sick. Just a basic polo sport long sleeve. The only thing I found which I might keep for myself is this yellow Nike windbreaker. For like a rain jacket I guess just to say. Just pocket on the back, nothing special. Got the vintage Tommy Hilfiger vest. I'm not sure if this is authentic or not, but I think we might cop it just cause. Got this Helly Hansen fleece and like this pro celebrity, like kind of like vintage style, I guess. But like a girl's cheerleading. Oh, fuck. This is a pretty sick sweater with all the colors all over, like aqua berry. I wouldn't say Kuji inspired because Kuji would probably never make this, but sometimes they're taxing like, like eight bucks. Eh, probably not worth it. Crooks and Castle shirt. Might pick it up, it's only a dollar. Just came across this super sick DKNY shirt. I'm not sure if this is custom or if this came like this. Like with like the bleach streaks. But it looks sick. Almost reminds me of like Stone Island. New Age Tommy Hilfiger shirt with Hilfiger spell out. Damn, this shirt is so fire. It's from Cosmo, Mexico. You have the shark biting the fish with the blood with like the tie-dye effect. I wish it was like double side with another shark, but it's still super sick. New Age Tommy Hilfiger joggers. Size 2XL though. Never seen camo pants like this. It's like a mint chocolate chip. It's kind of sick. Look at these vintage Tommy Hilfiger shorts. 
red and blue stripes all over. No crust or anything. They're $6. I might end up leaving them though. This is a pretty sick Miami Heat hat. Hardwood Classics. Just I feel like no one wears snapbacks anymore. So they just kind of sit. Got this Nautica spell out like fleece. Almost reminds me of like the competition. Then a few Kappa jerseys. You can see right here Kappa. And then with the red and black. New York Chets. Then we got this Philadelphia Eagles. So we got super fire color blocking all over. This is cool, like a 1997 Aztec print, but for five bucks, I'm just gonna pass. It's not worth it. Old school champion, like cut and sew v neck. So, finds today, we have like this NBA all over teams. I have like this Kuji inspired sweater. You have this Cooperstown Yankees, the Yankees spelled on the back. Brand new hill figure. Got this fake Burberry jacket with like the Burberry plaid. It's Tommy Hilfiger board shorts, super fire. And a brand new Tommy Hilfiger sleeve. But I think I'm gonna leave this because it's eight bucks, so I don't think it's worth it. Let's see how many fake purses we can find today. So to start it off, we got the fake Louis Vuitton. And we got another one here. And the monogram fake one here. Just fake ones for days. I think this is a fake Fendi. Jordan Combs. Spubs. Sachi jeans. Unfortunately, they're asking $40, so we're gonna pass because probably wanted to sell for like $50, $60. It's not worth it. This is vintage Nautica jeans. Little fleece. 120. Not bad. These Holly Hue, 35 bucks. Not bad. They go for like 60, 40, 60. Leave them for somebody else. So today's finds. We got this Canada So Sick shirt. Got the old school. If you guys used to skate, you would know the split. This is just like a hemp dyed Colorado shirt. So fire. Vintage Mickey. Apex. Let me get this thing. This thing's five foot. Seven bucks. Retail's like 40. Nike jersey. Oh, so sad. I'm not sure if this is bootleg or not, but still so fire. We have a challenge court Nike. The challenge court on the back. Ditch Polo Ralph Lauren with the Polo spell out. And we also have this Polo Jeans Co. Big Tom Hill figure with a little flag. You could tell by the tag. So the finds of today, we have this MLK, double-sided. I have a dream. Found this vintage. I just love the colors on it and the wash is so sick. Brand new with tags, 1997 Marlins. Then we did find a couple of these reprint like in memory with everyone on it. And then on the back it says Gone But Never Forgotten. They are $3 though, and I'm staying on a lot of Black History stuff, so I think I'm just gonna get one, maybe two. They also have a bunch of orange ones. But again, for $3, I'm not sure if uh, it's really worth it. I might just get one or two. Already through the window, we got some Air Maxes. Got some other Air Maxes down there, and one DC's. Questions. Miami Hurricanes duffel. Really good condition, almost seems like it's brand new. The starter Miami Dolphins from the 90s. Got this Denver Broncos. Got this Versace-esque. Look at this thing, craziness, right? Star Trek. 
super crazy tie-dye shirt. You already know Black History Month. Double-sided. Vintage Logo Athletics, Atlanta Braves. This shirt is so thick. Pocket tee. Another super sick. So fire. And then this Coogee with the big 